ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सो माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर has written very nicely about Sri Ram in the Shrimad Bhagavatam and in the Shrimad Bhagavatam there are two chapters dedicated to the Ram Leela because Shukadeva Goswami says to Maharaj Parikshit that you have already heard so much about Lord Ram because by the time shrimad bhagavatam was spoken ramayan was already very well known by everyone so shukadev says since you already know i'm just going to give a summary so in two chapters shukadev goswami covers the entire ramayan now shila prabhupad very nicely has written his comments on these two chapters and not just giving you a synopsis shila prabhupad also gives you the purport my good friend mr kakanaji always likes preaching so this will serve two purposes you will hear a synopsis of the ram leela plus you will hear the preaching of shila prabhupad if you are ready to proceed everybody say hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna. Krishna, krishna. krishna krishna hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare prabhupad writes The son of Maharaj Katvanga was Dirgabahu and his son was Raghu. The son of Raghu was Aja. The son of Aja was Dasharath. And the son of Dasharath was Lord Ram. And he also had three other sons. What were the three other sons? Lakshman, Bharat, Chaturgna. Very good. See you all know Ram Leela better than me. When the Lord descended into this world in his full kandrupal expansion as Lord Ram, Lakshman, Bharat and Shatrughna, great sages like Valmiki who were actually in knowledge of the absolute truth described his transcendental pastimes. Sri Lakshmadeva Goswami describes these pastimes in brief so you all know but it's always nice to remember valmiki he met the great sage narada and narada told narada is the quintessential preacher narada knows exactly how to preach so what did narada say valmiki You ask your family members are they willing to take the karma of all your sinful activities because Valmiki was gangbanger Valmiki was rogue thief All right So when Valmiki asked his family are you prepared to take the sinful reaction said no we only want the good The bad is on you. Ah, Valmiki had a light went on. So then Narada told Valmiki, "Here is how you can be delivered. You meditate on this word, mara, death. But look what happens when you chant mara. What happens? Mara, 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 mara. What turns into? ram so that's a preacher a preacher knows how to trick someone into somehow becoming a devotee 
Narada did the same thing to the great evil hunter Mragari. He tricked Mragari and he also became a great devotee. Continuing, Lord Ramachandra went with Vishvamitra and killed Rakshasas like Maricha. After breaking the stout and strong bow known as Haradhanu, the Lord married who? Sita. And cut down the prestige. Who this, whose prestige on the way home? Who did he meet? Parashuram. Right? Parashuram thought, I am the greatest warrior. But Ram showed him. Parashuram challenged him, right? But Ram showed Parashuram. To obey the order of his father, he entered the forest. And who accompanied Ram in the forest? Lakshman? Sita. And in the beginning, Ram didn't want Sita and Lakshman to go, right? But Sita insisted. Lakshman insisted. And what did Sita say? That actually, being with you, that's better than heaven. Even if it's the forest, I'd rather be in the forest with you than stay back here in the palace. Very interesting. And Lakshman, he just simply wanted to be Ram's servant through the whole 14 years. When Ram entered the forest, he and Lakshman cut off somebody's nose. Who did they cut off? Shurpanaka, and killed the associates of Ravan, headed by Kara and Dushana. Ravan's kidnapping of Sita Dev, Sita Devi, was the beginning of this demon's misfortune because Ravan had all these boons given to him by who? No. Who gave Ravan and his boons? Lord Brahma. Lord Shiva just gave him one weapon. Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma was the one who gave him all the blessings. And Ravana defeated all the demigods. He even defeated Yamaraj. Because Yamaraj was told, not now. So Ravana was and Lord Shiva, actually he could not defeat Lord Shiva, right? Lord Shiva was holding his foot. But what did Ravan do? Very clever. How did Ravan escape being defeated by Lord Shiva? What did he do? What did Ravan do? He offered prayers to Lord Shiva. And because he offered prayers to Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva, and then what did Ravan say? I want a benediction, and what did he ask for? He didn't he get a certain weapon? Do I have to read that? He got a certain weapon from Lord Shiva. So he was not killed by Lord Shiva. So Ravan was undefeated, but his mistake, his mistake, well, he made his mistake a long time. What was the, besides kidnapping Sita, what was the big mistake that Ravan made? What's that? All right. The mistake Ravan made was that he didn't ask not to be killed by humans and animals because he thought they were insignificant. He asked for benedictions to, not to be killed by any demigods, but he, this is called tragic flaw. He considered humans, I don't need a benediction, so what did Ram appear as? Human, and the demigods appeared as? monkeys and that was his downfall and yes the big thing was 
kidnapping Sita. Big mistake. When Maricha assumed the form of a golden deer, Lord Ramachandra went to bring the deer to please Sita Devi. But in the meantime, Ravana took advantage of the Lord's absence to kidnap her. But we learn from the Puranas that Ravan did not actually kidnap Sita. He kidnapped Maya Sita. He was cheated. So even though he didn't really kidnap the real Sita, even though he kidnapped an illusory Maya Sita, still he had to be killed by Lord Ram. When Sita Devi was kidnapped by Lord Ramachandra, accompanied by Lakshman, they searched for her throughout the forest. In the course of this search, who did they meet when they were looking for Sita? Who did they find? Jatayu. What was Jatayu's state? He was dying, yes. I'm doing this because this is what Jyotsna wants me to do. She wants me to ask, am I right? So, so far you're batting a thousand except for maybe one question. So yes, J now why was Jatayu dying? He was trying to save Sita, but what happened? Yes, what did Ravan do? Cut off his wings, right? Now... When Jatayu saw Sita being carried by uh, Ravan, what did Sita tell Jatayu not to do? She told them not to do something. Not to what? What did she tell him not to do? She told him, don't try to save me. Because she knew that Ravan is too powerful. But what did Jutayu do anyway? He tried to save her. That's a devotee. A devotee will risk his own life to serve the Lord. Because Jutayu had a relationship with Dasharath and he wanted to render service to Ram. So even though Sita said, no, no, don't come because you're going to get destroyed. Jatayu did it anyway. So this is the sign of a pure devotee. At his own risk, no, I must protect my Lord. That's a devotee. And how did Jatayu give up his life? And where was Jatayu? In the lap, right? And who was he looking at when he gave up his body? Right. Who does that remind you of? Another great personality. Bhishma. How did Bhishma give up his body? Where was Krishna? At his feet. Who was Bhishma looking at? He was looking at Krishna. Who would like to be Jatayu or Bhishma giving up your body in that way? Yes. That's why devotees... When they go to the hospital, what do they do? They play the Prabhupada tape and they have the picture. Never mind what the hospital says, I must have my picture of Krishna there. And Prabhupada said, when he had his heart attack, he told the devotees, don't send me to hospital. Just give me my picture of my Guru Maharaj. So that's a devotee. Death will come, right? So, it's not a question of trying to stop death. The question is how to properly die. And the best way to die, Kamlesh knows from Bhagavad Gita, what does Krishna say about how to die? What does Krishna say? No, he doesn't say that about dying. He doesn't say that. What does Krishna say about dying in 8th chapter? Yes, why? Why? And if you don't think of Krishna, what happens? Whatever you're thinking of, that's your next birth. 
So if I'm thinking of my business at the time of death, then I will take birth as a mouse or a cockroach in my business. So it's very important what you are thinking of at the time of death. And what does Kunti say? Now this is interesting. Kunti says, My Lord, sever my tie of affection for my family. So you don't want to think of your family at the time of death, as taught to us by Kunti. Kunti says, I want to think of you exclusively. Now that verse in Bhagavad Gita that you were quoting. Sarvadam man, ma, ah, 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 mam e kam, means exclusively, nothing else. So at the time of death, you simply want to think of Krishna. Everybody chant the Maha Mantra. Thus the Lord killed the demon Kabanda and the commander Vali and established a friendly relationship with Sugriva. Who was Sugriva? The king of? Yes, Kishkin, the monkeys, right? He was the king of the monkeys. After organizing the military strength of the monkeys and going with them to the shore of the sea, the Lord awaited the arrival of Sumudra, the ocean personified. And when Sumudra did not come, the Lord, master of Sumudra, became angry. And in the Bhagavatam, in the second canto and in this ninth canto, it describes how Lord Ram became angry at the ocean. And Lord Brahma is telling Narada about Lord Ram and he says that Lord Ram's anger was so intense, all the aquatics in the ocean were being burnt by the angry red eyes of Lord Ram, which means Ram is not an ordinary human being. He looks like a human being. And that's what Kakani was saying, was another one of Ravan's mistakes. Ravan thought, Ram is just a ordinary human being. Big mistake. And even though so many people told Ravan, don't fight, so many of his own people told him not to fight. Did Ravan listen? Nope. Another big mistake. As we say in America, pride comes before the fall. And Ravan is the classic example. So much pride. I cannot be defeated by this insignificant human. But what happened? Boom! And Ravan died, and his ten heads were bleeding. Then Sumudra came to the Lord with great haste and surrendered to him, wanting to help him in every war. The Lord then attempted to bridge the ocean, and with the help of the Bishan, he attacked Ravan's capital, Lanka. Yes, the Bishan. He is the devotee brother of Ravan. And what did um, Vibhishan's wife, did she render some service? Vibhishan's wife? Yes. She gave some nice information to Sita because Sita was worried, is Ravan going to kill me? But the Bishan's wife gave her some consolation in the Ashok Grove and told her, don't worry, Ram is going to defeat. So the Bishan's wife also was rendering service. That's what a devotee is. A devotee is someone who renders service to the Lord. Do you want to be a devotee? Render service. And you want to render big service? Render service to the Lord's devotees. Render service.
Okay, let's continue. Okay, now. Who was able to enter Lanka Hanuman? And Hanuman became as small as what? A cat. He became cat size. And what did uh, Hanuman do when he met the presiding deity of Lanka? Huh? Okay, but what did he do to her? Yes, slapped her. And then she knew Lanka is finished because there was a prediction that if she gets slapped, that's the end of Lanka. And so Hanuman cat size goes through Lanka and it's nighttime and he goes into Ravan's quarters and what's Ravan doing? Snoring because he just had a big orgy and so he's sleeping and his ten heads are snoring and he sees all the damsels and then how does Hanuman know that none of these women are Sita? How does he know? What's that? Because Hanuman knows Sita would never agree to surrender to Ravan. No way! Sita would give up her life before even contemplating going with Ravan. Because Sita is the topmost of all chaste women. Topmost. So where did Hanuman finally find Sita? In the Ashok Grove. And where did he hide himself? In the tree. Very good. Now, Rava, um, Hanuman was captured, correct? All right. When he was captured, what did Ravan and his hordes do to Hanuman? What did they do? They put his tail on fire. But what did Hanuman do? He escaped and he went through Lanka and set it on fire. Fire. Hanuman Aki. And then Hanuman again escaped and went back, right? He made it back. All right. And now, with the help of Lakshman, the forces of Lord Ramachandra killed all the Rakshasha soldiers. If you read the Ramayan, what did Ravana do? He sent his first general. What happened? destroyed then the next one then and then he sent his own sons and each son came back dead and then Indrajit right who took care of Indrajit Lakshman so now he's got no more sons so what does Ravan have to do now he has to go himself when everybody's, yes, brother, but after everybody is defeated, now he has to go and fight. Then Lord Ramachandra personally killed Ravan. Mandodari and the other wives lamented for Ravan, and in accordance with Lord Ramachandra's order, the Bishan performed the funeral ceremony for all the dead in the family. Lord Ramachandra then gave the Bishan the right to rule Lanka and granted him a long duration of life. The Lord delivered Sita Devi from the Ashoka forest and carried her away in what kind of airplane? Yes, what does that mean? What kind of airplane? Flowers. Not like this airplane that they can't find after one month. It was a flower airplane. And they went back to his capital. What's his capital called? Ayodhya. 
where he was received by his brother when Lord Ramachandra entered Ayodhya what did Bharat bring yes what is it yes his wooden shoes which were being worshipped right because Bharat said I am not going to sit on the throne what was put on the throne Ram sandals that was the king where was Bharat all these 14 years he was living in a hut right outside and was Bharat eating nice samosa rasgulla what was what was Bharat eating every day barley cooked in the urine of a cow talk about diet huh very 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 austerely he was not enjoying at all Bharat brought his wooden shoes the Bishan and Sugriva held a whisk and a fan and Hanuman carried what we do this when we have a procession of the deities what's that umbrella if you go to Los Angeles ISKCON whenever they sometimes they have a procession and there's an umbrella over the head of the deities again service Shatrugna carried the Lord's bow and two quivers and Sita Devi carried a water pot containing water from the holy places Angada carried a sword and Jambavan carried a shield after Lord Ramachandra accompanied by Lord Lakshman and Mother Sita met all his relatives the greats okay who enthroned Ram as king who enthroned him was that Vashish yes the chapter ends with a short description of Lord Rama's rule Ramachandra's rule and Ayodhya everybody chant 